Hey guys, Coach Pete here, and this is my big play analysis of RNG versus CLG from the first day of MSI. Okay, so the draft from both sides are pretty similar. I think both of them gonna look in for the team fights a lot. Looper has a, a puppy against Darkness Maokai, they just both wanna farm out. Uh, from the jungle, Nidalee should have uh, early junk pressure on the Graves, but Graves is still very good into Nidalee because even Nidalee then the spear, he cannot just jump onto the Graves because Graves can still 1v1 him. Mid lane is a farm matchup again. Uh, at this bottom lane, I think uh, it's pretty much skill matchup. Now the uh, the lens has a super strong counter pick, and we will see is how the team uh, synergy and coordinated uh, in this game. Because CRG used a very good strategy in the early, they decided to 2v1 against the RNG's team comp. They dodged the Nidalee a strong early jungle pressure, and they're trying to push at the bottom. Here we can see Kalen and the Brom was walking through this their jungle, but here is the mistake which CRG made is. You see the Graves was on the top side, they have no backup, they want to rotate to the mid and try to siege the mid torrent. But you don't know where is the Alistair and the Nidalee are, which they were hiding on a bush, uh, and eventually they got a first blood on a Stixie. We can see here Azir was trying to all in on a dragon, but if we saw it on the minimap, on this bottom side, um, MLXG was doing his uh, red buff, there's just no reason that Azir should be all in trying to kill the dragon. which. He got cut out uh, later on by Darshan's TP, but it's just a very bad play from Xiao Hu. Um, and this misplay from Xiao Hu is just uh, his individual play. Uh, I don't think that actually affect too much on their team comp because they just wanna uh, farm out in the in the mid game and they have a strong late game team fight comp. We can see here CLG was playing around the winning condition, which is group and push to win. Uh, they trying to siege mid with Dragon's Q. And they land a good stun on a Xiao Hu, but here they make a big mistake is they don't aware about Alistar's position. We see from the minimap, Mata was hiding on CLG's uh, numbers area, and he flashed engaged on two people of CLG and Azir following up, which gives them another two kills. We can see here uh, RNG was trying to play with their winning condition to siege mid, but the first mistake they made here is they don't clean any version around mid before they push, which does them make a TP play and the second thing we can see from this team fight is Looper wanted to car engage because Dawson trying to engage on them uh, but he missed the OT uh, on any of the CLG members and we can also see Mata here he was born his Q flash but he missed it it's a very big mechanical misplay from Mata here which gave the Stixie a tons of the room to, to deal damage which he eventually got a quarter kill so right after Stixie got a quarter kill CLG is trying to play in their winning condition again we can see here they already set up the version inside of the RNG jungle and the Maokai is recoiling trying to engage, trying to dive this torrent. With this item of the Maokai, he can just tank this in the torrent forever. But here, Stixie was make a huge mistake. I could say it's a game changing mistake here. He overextended, his position is not good. He got land by the spear from MLXG and Mata again. That's the reason he'd be one of the best support here. He knows the timing he have to engage, so he flash then the perfect combo on a Stixie, which RNG going and, and kill the Stixie. Once Stixie was dead, CLG's team comp just has no damage to fight anymore, which eventually RNG killed four people of CLG and stops them to engage and change the game tempo on them. Uh, we can see here, RNG making another mistake is they, they were trying to rotate to the mid, but they got cut out by CLG right here. Uh, the reason this, this fight is not goes well is because they don't have any backup from the Looper's TP. Looper's TP is on cooldown, which uh, there will be a 4v5 around mid. Uh, this fight, CRG kill like almost everyone, RNG. But in the end, Xiao Hu make a very good play to kill the Stixie. If Stixie didn't die here, uh, CRG might just be able to end up the game. Okay, we can see here this is another big fight. Darsh and TP aim, but he didn't get any flank on their back carries. He was go on the poppy because at this point of the game, we see both carries scaling up. The only thing you want to do is trying to kill the tank first. And we can also see here another good play from the team is Mata. He make a very good uh, Q flash combo on two people, and he double the dragon back on in the team of the RNG and instantly kill the dragon here. But nobody was be touching sticks at this point, which sticks it was still doing tons of damage. But here's another thing from Looper and TP back to the fight again. Actually Stixie played really well around his trap, but eventually Looper wins the fight. So RNG, Looper was alive, so they won this fight. He still won, but also from the CR side, it's not that bad because they will stop the five dragon threat from the RNG side. 
which is also good for Xiaoji because they have another chance to come back to fight them again. Uh, we can see another Dragon 5. It's a 4v5 for Xiaoji's side, which is definitely not in their favor. Uh, Marta engage, but here, I think RNG has a miscommunication right here. They, they, they make a bad play. From Xiao was trying to kill the Graves, which the rest of the three people are trying to engage on a Darshan. Which we can see Wu Xing E into the three people and instantly did. And a stick here was coming back on the fight and killing the everyone for RNG side. CRG win this fight, but they still stopped Dragon 5 from the RNG side and they got a mid inhibitor after. Darshan just threw the game right here because he didn't even use his ult on the Maokai and he, he just got instantly killed. And that is a game losing fight because the strongest tank on your team was dead. Instantly, uh, you just cannot do to um, bear any damage from the Zero and the Lucian, which they got a clean ace from the RNG side. I think this is a huge misplay from Darshan. Like, all you need to do at this point is to hit your R. Just use your OT to engage on Alyssa. They're not gonna kill you. And the whole other team could be following up and Stixie. Like, nobody gonna be get on Stixie because Alyssa already used his combo. And CLG might win the game. Thanks for watching. If you want more content, please make sure to check twitter.com slash peterjohnlow.